Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 4 video. In this video, we're gonna run with my rogue, uh, the dungeon that unlocks World Tier 3. So we're level 50. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I need to drink a potion just in case because this is my hardcore character. And uh, he's turning out pretty well. But if I survive this, then I'll upload the build uh, of my current rogue archer. So, this thing will help me to survive. Got 30 minutes. So, yeah. If I survive, I'll make a build video. Although, not not all of my gear is upgraded and all. Because I really want to get time. into World Tier 3 as soon as possible. So, this is why I'm a little bit rushing things. Oh! Damn, I, I think I ain't gonna have no problem. See that? Those guys just exploded. Need more time. Woo! Yeah, boy! I love it. Eish, caramba. The only downside for this character build is healing. Healing is terrible. And I'm hoping to fix that when I get better gear in the next tier. Because even though I think I put, yeah, I put that skull on my guy, still... Oh no, I missed. Hell yeah, that thing is so good. But th that's all that works only when they're frozen. But through maneuver, maneuvering is good. So this guy is more like crowd control. I can pile up enemies, throw my stun grenades, and then just demolish them. Oh, I forgot to hit that. I'm not ready. Oops. Yeah, I just need to make sure it works. Okay, wait there, I just see a healing potion. Yeah, let's heal up. <laughs> Although I do have a really, really nice theory build. Oh, perfect landing, moron. Sir, that's what I like. I yet even to put some uh, other uh, that give me a damage boost aspects because I don't have enough components, and I can't imagine how OP is gonna be when I put them on. Oh, hello. I really dislike these looking red lights. I'm not ready. I really hate these bubbles, man. to work on my resistances as well <laughs> okay looks like my uh, potion didn't yet trigger so good although the build also does have issues with uh, like boss fights it's more AOE damage 
besides, as I said, I still don't have time to implement some aspects because I don't have enough components. I'm planning to do that uh, with Sacred before I go to Ascensual. So, but yeah, I mean the thing is, it is kind of working out. Okay, you, uh, again, you stupid bubble. Honestly, I thought it's gonna be a little bit more challenging because uh, I'm exactly level 50 and not all of my gear is upgraded. Hmm. Interesting. one of myself an archer build <laughs> yeah you're looking good man we got our defenses percent damage reduction. I just put it on. Because that was the only thing I had resources for. Everything else is not imprinted. <laughs> Preparing for season one. So I need to open the map, grind those altars, or little And mobility. That's another thing I'm focusing on. I don't know, I don't really like the mounts in Diablo. <laughs> They're not what I thought they would be. It would be nicer if we could upgrade their speed and not have some stupid skill that we have to wait in order for it to run. Because honestly, you can create yourself a. Uh, like, you're gonna have to sacrifice some affixes, but your character will run faster than your horse. <laughs> if you play the card right. So the horse kind of becomes useless just for the show. Another reason why I like Rogue. I'm not ready. <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> Another reason I love Rogue, man. Ah, here we go, party time. Oh. 
down. I got a whole bunch of potions available. Thank you. I'm not ready yet. I nailed this guy so fast with my necro. On easy mode. I mean, not hard mode. That was fun. That was fun. Yay! I unlocked World 2 3, baby! <laughs> oh, wait. I have it. Oh, dude, I forgot there's another one. Bro. Whoops. Whoa, well, okay. Totally. I ran through this thing with my necro like with such ease. Alright. Ah, oh, wait, I have to kill him. Slay all. Come on, man. So that was a test, huh? Wait, who, who do I have to find? Now? Let's pile them all. Man. This is so annoying. That's what I'm talking about. Come, come together, please. You guys are so ah, uh, come on, range. I'm not ready yet. One guy, come on. Man. Yeah, I could have worked a little bit on my gear 
but I would have to waste time and then what come on man Done a lot better results just went through off scroll escape sweet oh, I'm trying to save up those for emergency situations. My potion's still up, that's good. Come on guys, pile up, come on, give me a break here. Attacking enemies with basic skill increases the core damage of your... Oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. We could actually tr test it out right now. No, I'm going to lose my speed. Just for that 11%. Uh, up to. At least I got it. I grinded out the aspect for it. I need more time. But I didn't have enough <laughs> to apply it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you know what? Uh, let's just go. Yeah, that was the final boss fight. I forgot. <laughs> Oops. I just wasted my...
guys. thinking mana I should have uh, not rushed into things and uh, actually upgraded my gear and changed a few aspects suck if I die here. Oi. Did he see me while I was in this game? Yo, this ain't funny. Get down. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Ballista Schwalista. on your ass man not again out of potions <laughs> I'm not gonna risk like this during the season. <laughs> I'm gonna first upgrade the hell out of myself. My eyes are freaking crying right now. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> oh my god, I was actually pretty close of dying there. Girls trying. Oh, that's this is what exactly what I was trying to play around with uh, nice yeah that was insane <laughs> I guess I'll see y'all in the next one if you enjoyed the show don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity damn <laughs> that is insane I don't think there's a need of making a video separately about the build. So let me quickly show you what I got here. So we got this thing right here with uh, with uh, basic skill grand damage reduction for two seconds. We got this thing here, uh, uh, the barrier upon it triggers every 30 seconds. Then we've got chilled enemies hit with your grenades. Skills have a chance equal to double your critical strike chance to be instantly frozen for two seconds you deal 21% increased critical damage against frozen enemies this is actually a pretty a pretty good one by the way if I mispronounce stuff I do apologize I am from Ukraine sometimes I mispronounce stuff 
then we've got uh, an additional source of uh, damage reduction. You gain 0 0.35 increased dam increased armor for 4 seconds when you deal any form of damage, staking up to 35%. Then we got these boots here, while unstoppable, uh, and for 4 seconds. So basically this is useless. I was actually trying to put something else in there, but I didn't have enough components. Uh, then the basic uh, skill gain up to 30% attack speed because I really need to shoot those things faster so I can get those combo points because I've selected the combo points as my specialization which actually works pretty nice. Uh, then we got for the dagger we get when you break okay this actually I wanted to change as well but I wasn't able to because then once again I have enough resources dealing direct damage to enemies affected by your trap skills has a 41% chance to make them vulnerable for three seconds really useful stuff uh, penetrating shot that's the, my main shotter for the skill uh, kind of duplicates itself, does more damage so whenever penetrating shot damages an enemy two additional arrows split off uh, to either side, these side arrows deal 15% of penetration shots, base damage do not split. So basically, they do not split after the split. Uh, damaging a chilled or frozen enemy with uh, shadow imbued. I'm not 100% mispronounced that. That's my other, the one that I use to power up my shots, makes them explode. So that's good stuff. And, uh, Caltrops also throw a cluster of exploding uh, stun grenades that deal damage, stun the enemies, and also trigger the other frozen thing because it's grenades, you see? It has equal chance to fr freeze them. So that's why when enemies pack up, a lot of grenades drop and they have the chance to get frozen a lot. So without having to wait. So it's actually a pretty nice combo. Uh, yeah, so that's it for my gear, because there's really, like, I don't think there's, you should be explaining the build, like, in so many details of a level 50, because it's level 50, first of all, it's hard to get legendaries, it's hard to do that, and then that, so you basically end up what you end up with, right? Uh, so combo points, abilities, I've got everything into Heat Seeker, Aimbot, <laughs> so you, no matter where you shoot, the arrow will hit the target, uh, with the ricochet option. I decided to go with the ricochet instead of the critical damage. Uh, then my main hitter is the penetrating shot with the when cast a full energy penetration shot will slow all enemy. Okay, I still need to play around with some skills. Some skills I just yank just the uh, top of my head because <laughs> rogue is something new to me. So I'm still playing around with it. Uh, close damage reduction obviously we uh, increase the uh, eight percent damage to vulnerable enemies because I'm using a bow. Uh, Caltrops, really nice one. I had it maxed out, but then I had to sacrifice some points. Still need to grind. Uh, then we got this. This is for my oh shit situation or during boss fight uh, to make him vulnerable for six seconds. Uh, then we've got exploit more damage and more damage again <laughs> then uh, sh shadow damage has up to 10% chance to stun the enemy for 1.5 seconds it's uh, really nice actually and this is the best one uh, each time you kill an enemy with shadow damage you generate 30 essence so when you I imbue and make my penetrating shot I get I usually and it's a pack of mobs I usually get my uh, energy full again that's why I need two more aspects which will increase my damage even more uh, thanks to this but I don't have it implemented yet because I don't have the resources to make that change then uh, for the freeze we have a couple of buffs over here uh, you deal 15% increased damage to chilled enemies this bonus increases to 30% against frozen enemies and chill enemies have their movement speed further reduced by 30% uh, the reason for that is that my catapults, I forgot to mention, that uh, they are upgraded to deal cold damage and chill the enemies. So uh, that's actually a really nice combo. And uh, Shadow Clone, because it kind of duplicates my traps, uh, duplicates my shots, so I decided to go with Clone. Clone, I think, is a lot better uh, than Rain of Arrows, but I don't know, maybe that will change in the future. And for my uh, key passive, I went with the Exposure. So, dealing direct damage to an enemy affected by trap skill has 
chance to reduce the cooldown of the trap so I can get access and keep trapping them so that's nice and also drop grenades that's also kind of cool because if you combine it with my legendary effects they can get frozen when those things drop so it's actually all nice I really uh, like the build how it's going out so far but then again I have it's just the beginning man still got some work to do with this baby right here anyway thanks all for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did smash the like and i'll see you on the next one bye